Hey everyone, it's Raven with my extra special guest. Bimini from Bulas. Hello, babes. How are you doing? Hello, babes. Hello, babes. We're back. We're here for a brand new episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Fashion Photo Review. UK edition. Ow. We are going to be tuning and booting the looks from the main stage of UK Season 3 of... All right, so this week, the main stage looks are red carpet worthy. There are many different types of red carpets. Music awards, there's television awards, there's movie awards, there's kids' choice awards, there's the porn awards. There's <laughs> awards for everything. There was a time in, in fashion red carpets where people were just taking the piss. And I want to see that as well. I want to see the references from like the noughties. I want to see Ashley Tisdale in a pair of Ugg boots and jeans. Like I want to see reference in <laughs> Ashley Tisdale. I want to see what you wouldn't expect to see on a red carpet. Something that when you you can Google top 10 red carpet moments, you're going to be on that. A little black dress ain't going to get on that. And I'm wearing a little black dress right now. So I can say that. <laughs> Same here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> If we're going to be referencing great moments in red carpet history, let's talk mm -hmm. about when Tara Reed's titty fell out. Has anything like that <laughs> happened to you, Miss Bimini Bambula? There was a recent one um, at the BAFTAs this year. I was wearing this gorgeous CSM graduate, CSM student's outfit. It was this big kind of green dress sculpted to my body. It had like massive shoulders and it was a bit weird and out there. And I was on the red carpet getting my photos taken. And then I saw the photos and I had big sweat marks under where the lumps were on my boob. But luckily, the outfit was green. You could kind of just get, get away with it. People just think it was kind of a darker green, but it was sweat. <laughs> yeah. Still made it on the best dress list, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> there was a time where I was wearing a pair of shoes where my toes had slipped off the edge and they were mm -hmm. cliff hanging. Um, and there were photos going around of my toes hanging off the end of my <laughs> shoes. But we're not on a red carpet, Raven. No, we're not being judged tonight. We are the ones doing the judging. Exactly. Who is the first up? Can you feel the love? Category is red carpet showstoppers. Up first for red carpet showstoppers, we have Theresa May. She looks like um, she's on a red carpet for Dr. Zeus or something like that. Yeah, I do think she looks beautiful. I love the hair. And the hair piece on top is cool, but the garment itself, mm. It's not screaming red carpet to me. She's giving me Dr. Dr. Whoville or, or, or Dr. Zeus. I can see that too. I love the structured hair. I love the pieces of hair that have been created and looks like there's, they're also rhinestoned to create this headpiece. And the sculpted headpiece looks like she's got like two penises fighting to get out the top of her head. Maybe she does. I mean, we've all had two penises fighting at the top of our heads, but I don't think it really brings anything to the outfit. I feel like it's kind of like, oh, how can we make this go further? Oh, let's put a sculpted piece on the head. The thing that throws all of this off for me is that belt. Yeah. Right smack dab in the middle that looks like it should be on maybe a cowgirl costume or a mm -hmm. rocker chick. Now, like we were saying earlier, red carpets can be for many different award shows, so who knows what kind of red carpet she's going to. But, there was a missed opportunity for her to just take it a little more glamorous. I also, I get as well, people get confident with their with bodysuits, but I actually would have liked to have seen it maybe where the, the bodysuit is, just having your skin out. I think that could have been quite sexy. I don't know, it kind of reminds me of just a blue and white version of what she wore for her hometown outfit in a longer version of it. From the head up, it's a different outfit from the bottom. Yeah, I'm not feeling this one, it's a boot. It's a boot. That's the first one, Raven, as well. Wow. And she just got top two last week. Oh. Up next, Electra Fence. I think this fabric's beautiful. I think almost every drag queen has utilized this type of fabric in some way, shape, or form. However, this just looks like a giant, oversized, hooded dress. If she puts that hood up, it's basically a condom. She looked like a condom. Yeah. I think um, <laughs> a big silver condom. <laughs> a big silver condom. To go condom. on the two penises that were on Theresa May's head. <laughs> exactly. Electra, you can have that one <laughs> if you want to start branding out with your condom range. It's swallowing her. 
it's not fitted to the point where it looked like it would it was red carpet worthy. I think that that braided section of fabric in the center should have been like some structural piece of like a belt or or a wrap or something that kind of broke it up. It's just this huge piece of silver fabric. Too much, it's kind of heavy looking. But I also don't like the hair with it. I think the hair's a miss. I think it's, I get that she's staying in the kind of cool tones, the cooler pinks maybe. She's got a bit of a warmer pink, but like the cooler pink and the purple, with the gray, it's not screaming red carpet. I don't know what red carpet she is going to be attending. It is a missed opportunity if you're gonna walk a red carpet in something like this. This should be a reveal. Take your clothes off, Electro. We wanna say you take your clothes off. Yeah, just take, just walk out naked, <laughs> bitch. This is the second time we yeah. said you should take your clothes off. <laughs> <laughs> all in all, I will say it's a boot. Yeah, it's missing some things, it's a boot. Up next, Vanity Milan. So I I appreciate a sheer moment and I'm, I'm getting a bit of a Gautier reference from it with the kind of plucked ostrich feather scattered around it. And I like that it pulls into the shape of the body. I like the color. I think it's pretty. I wish there were more of the plumes coming off. Toward the bottom, it's a little fuller. And then at the top, there's just like one on the shoulder, one on the elbow. And I also wish that the front of the dress wasn't that huge piece that goes around, you know, the booby, then comes down. I realize it's meant to cover up certain things. It's just placed in a way that's kind of off Pudding. I would have liked to have seen it actually without the oversized parts because I feel like the way it sculpts her body and a way that creates that shape around there, it might look really stunning to just see that, to get like this really tiny nude illusion. But then I don't I don't hate that it's, it's oversized, so it's not offending me. You, you go overboard when you kind of match the hair with it and you go all in one color. I, I mean, it can be a choice, but I would have maybe liked to have seen it with different hair. Yeah, what color hair would you want to see with this? I would have liked to have seen dark hair with this or blonde hair with this maybe. Just anything other than this? Anything other than the like bright purple maybe. <laughs> but still, I think she looks stunning. She looks gorgeous. She doesn't look like a condom. So for that, I give her a two. She does not look like a condom. That is gonna be a good point of reference to what we are tooting or booting now. Is, <laughs> does she look like a condom or not? I'm gonna give it a two. Next up to the stage, we have Kitty Scott Claus, giving us a Marilyn Monroe reference or also a Madonna reference from the Material Girl video. She's my Material Girl tonight. I think if it's beautifully, I think it looks great on her. Her shape looks great. There's a couple times where you can see her undergarments hanging out. If I'm gonna be brutal, I could have seen it coming. I could have told you that Kitty was gonna do something in this world. I like someone that's gonna do the unexpected. And I wish that it was kind of maybe a different take on it. But yeah, she does a gorge. She doesn't know that condom. So in that, I'll give her a two. You really have to this up in order for it to be a boot. I love everything about it. It's a two. Up next, we've got Crystal Versace. What red carpet is she going to with showing all that leg? Not just one leg. You know how like there was a while there where people were showing just the one leg, you know, Angelina mm -hmm. Jolie did that thing where she had the leg. This, she's showing both legs. I think she's going to red carpet at the uh, Emerald City, isn't she? Wizard of Oz. So that's where she's going. This is the type of hair I want to see for this kind of thing, like really sculpt back and sexy. And I think she really hits the mark with it. It's a two. It's a two, baby. Next up, River Medway. Uh, she looks stunning, top to bottom. Yeah. I love mm -hmm. the color. I love the silhouette. I love the hair, the shoe choice, everything. I agree. I think for me, I love that style of blonde, trashy hair because it's a bit of me and it just gives me that like Anna Nicole, pa Pamela yep. Anderson, where it's just that like, you know what, I've just had sex and now I'm on the red carpet and I don't care because I'm hot and I'm, I'm here for it because that's how I vision myself. Yep. <laughs> just with the lack of sex. <laughs> she looks like she got in the limo 
And her hair, actually, she had her hair styled. She had everything done and the hair just got a little messed up and she had to yeah. repin it. Yeah, I love everything about this look. The guy's waiting in the limo still and she's just got to go, babes, I've just got to do this red carpet. Give me 10 minutes, get me photo taken, get me Getty image and I'm off. Yeah, she'll be right back for <laughs> number two. <laughs> <laughs> two. two. Up next, Veronica Green. Veronica looks great. This dress is something that we've seen a lot. It was, mm. uh, you know, very popular a couple years ago. We've seen it kind of trickle out of being featured on uh, drag race or drag red carpets, but she has said, I'm bringing it back. It's like she's wearing a mullet. She's wearing short in the front, party in the back, and I'm here for that. I love a mullet. My favorite thing about this is her hair. I love that hair. Big old hair, Sandra D. She's giving me that like grease lightning. The dress is cute. It's great. I love the gold accessories, the gold bracelets, the gold belt, and the gold shoes. She's got both her legs out and I'm here for that. Featuring both them glam gams. <laughs> it's a toot, babe. It's a toot. Next up, Charity Case. I could gush, gush, gush and gush some mm -hmm. more over this from the top to the bottom. What I love as well is that she's she's wearing feathers and we haven't seen that yet. And actually like that's kind of something that's like very old Hollywood glamour on the red carpet. And then she's got the 1920s references. And I think that makeup, she looks stunning. Most people know I love 1920s references. I love Flapper, I love Gatsby, I love all of that. Um, the color of this, every, I, uh, uh, oh my gosh, I love it. I, she looks amazing. This is sea creature going to a glam party. This is what I love to see and I think she looks phenomenal. She could be at a party at Neptune's palace about to ride on his big sword. I've known Charity and she's like an East London queen as well. And like, she's, she's a bit edgy. So she's got her legs out and the, the tattoos are really cool. I love the hairy leg. I mean, I, okay, yeah, I'm not a fan of hairy leg on drag. I just am not. I like the disheveledness of it as well. I like that it's a bit like rough. I don't, that's just me. That's the, that's the way I am. But I didn't even notice she had a hairy leg. I was so stunned by everything else that, uh, yeah, toot, bitch. Toot, bitch. Up next, I've had an hell of a day. It's hell of a day. <laughs> No, this is beautiful. She looks beautiful. The hair looks great. It's a lot of jewelry, but I love it. And I love that the jewelry actually kind of goes into the gown. It's like the, the pieces that are on the gown and on the skirt complement the jewelry. And I love the color of the hair with the color of that gown. I do as well. And then the, the, the silvery, the coolness of the silvery is, it's beautiful. Yeah, the tones are really nice. I think she's gonna look great when she loses Best Supporting Actress. So <laughs> I think it was a, it's a good choice to wear. She knew she wasn't gonna win, so she didn't go all the way out. <laughs> it is very safe. She looks classic cinema. It's a trumpet skirt with a belted skirt over it. It's, it's not anything that's like, whoa. But it is beautiful. Best supporting <laughs> actress on the main stage, RuPaul's actress. On the, bleh, 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 bleh. Totally <laughs> that up. Whatever. Toot for best supporting <laughs> actress. Is it toot? Up next, Scarlet Harlot. I mean, I hope that's the first time she's going to wear Scarlet because if she does keep wearing Scarlet and her name is Scarlet, it will get very boring. <laughs> so let's not do that, oh. Scarlet Harlot. <laughs> Other than that, I think like it's, again, it's safe. It's not offensive. It's not pushing the boundaries. It's not breaking it. You're not going to say it's the best thing on the red carpet. It's a safe choice. Yeah, it is a safe choice. It, it's pretty, but I've never thought of featuring a red dress at a red carpet. I don't think you should do that. I think that if you are going to go to an event that and you want to wear red, the carpet should be a different color. There's a place near where I live called Finsby Park and um, they do some like lovely dresses like this. And you, it looks like you could have just got it off the rack from there. I don't know. I'm just not like, ooh, ah, over this. I'm like, oh, okay, she's wearing a dress. She's got, yeah, yeah, okay. The jewelry matches. Four red letters, four scarlet letters. B, O, O, T. <laughs> it's a boot. Next up, Victoria Scone. I like the makeup. 
I like the cut crease. I like the crease being very high. I think the makeup is lovely. I think Victoria always does gorgeous makeup. I think sadly I was expecting more from Victoria after her first two runways. You know, like we were saying about Scarlet, that I'm going to kind of reflect what I said there with this. It's like, oh, okay. It's just a, a red dress. It's like nothing exciting or crazy or, uh, ooh, my gosh, look what she did on the red carpet. It's like, it's yeah. just a red dress. It's a wrinkly red dress. Red carpet doesn't mean red dress. The hair could have been styled better, maybe. Maybe make the hair edgy or maybe uh, put it up. It's just someone that said, oh, red carpet challenge. I need a gown and uh, some, you know, pretty wavy hair. It's just like, no, mm -mm. I realize people think of red as sexy and, and think of red as standing out. But if you're standing on a red carpet, you want to stand out more. Red can be sexy, but sexy is a state of mind. Exactly, bitch. Sorry, Vicky. Boot vibes. It's a boot. Trend, Trend alert. Legs. Legs on the carpet. Legs on the runway. Carpet at the top of your legs. Legs on the runway. Glam gams. <laughs> Spread your legs. Get those twitters. Let me see what's between them legs. Our top, Our top two of the week is... is Charity, Charity Kay. Kay. Ow. Get it, bitch. Yes, red carpet diva. Edgy, sexy. Glamour. Grrr. And edge. Uh. And leg. And we love it. And we love oh. it. Leg. That <laughs> bitch work. Make sure to tune in to BBC Three every Thursday to watch new episodes of RuPaul's Drag Race UK Season 3. And you can catch it on Crave in Canada and everywhere else worldwide on WOW Presents Plus. So everywhere outside of the UK, available on WOW Presents Plus. Wow. Yes, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you know what? I've got to go shave my red carpet. <laughs> <laughs> my red carpet doesn't match the drapes. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>